Hello there, hello there. Welcome back to another live stream here on Ark Survival Ascended in Scorched Earth. We're back. We're back with some building and we're back here in my western town. Um, it's been a while since we've we've worked on the town. I have done some building in between. Of course, last stream we did the ruins let's build. And before that, we actually worked on our train, which seems to be... Uh, bugging out i, I find that <laughs> whenever you leave it's like you you unload the train it kind of uh, bugs a little bit and then you need to uh, reattach it so that that looks better uh well yeah it is what it is but today we're gonna continue my my western town and i've actually done a little bit of uh work on it we have some new additions so it's already starting to look like a proper little town. Like this little street right here really feels like we're in some proper western game. We definitely need to trim down some of the bushes and get the rocks out of the road. But uh, it's definitely starting to feel good. I've also played around a little bit with uh, painting some of these structures to, to make them a little bit more different and, uh, you know, stand out a little bit more. So these are the, currently the three colors that I've chosen that I kind of like i might you know play around with some more colors these are the newest editions i haven't painted those yet but we'll see what we can do today um we're gonna just be adding a little bit to the town trying to finish at least this street i would like to at this part of the street um so up, up until the rock that we see at the end but let's do a little tour of what there is so far before we get into building anything new Hello there! Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. Good to see you all. So, of course, first thing we built was the saloon right over here. We got some decoration here out on the front porch. And we got our saloon on the inside. Uh, the lights are not on because I haven't powered the generator. So it's still quite dark, but um, it's, uh, it's definitely cozy in here. So we got this little bar area, table to sit and have some drinks. Another table here and then a little lounge area back here as well and then upstairs we've actually got the poker room so we got a poker table right here and we got another poker table right there and over there so this is where the uh, where business happens and then we got of course uh, a beautiful front porch with the big sign including of course because that's i mean signature right in the uh, western town we got to have that and then after that we added all these buildings in so the hotel which basically just means that i've got some spawn points in here again lights aren't powered so it's still quite dark so we've got some simple rooms down here on the first floor and then we've got actually some fancier rooms here this is the fanciest ones because this has access to the balcony right here and you can look out over the beautiful little street that is starting to form um see so yeah, i've got another bigger room back here but this is like some sleeping quarters where you can share with with the whole group um so yeah that is one of the builds we did then there's a little bit detail here already you can see some stuff in the alleyway and there's actually a plank connecting those buildings because uh you know have some fun rooftop shootouts in the western town why not and these are just two normal buildings which are supposed to be like normal housing so people would just live here there's no interior for these because i'm not going to do interiors for everything just to kind of reduce the amount of uh possible lag you know because because the more we place down the more it's probably gonna be demanding uh, and i don't want to <laughs> go too crazy and then i did some additions between streams between videos um so these are some new builds the bank a general store and a gun shop and the interesting thing here is that i've actually tried to connect these all with one big porch so they really feel very interconnected and they really help bring together that feeling of being in a proper western town in my opinion because you really feel like this is all uh you know part of a main street so Let's dive into a little bit deeper what I exactly did. We have a staircase here, which connects to like the second layer of this building, which probably would house like the the offices for the bank and stuff like that. 
Um, so that that would probably be for for the more important clients and the the administration work. And then this would be where you could come in and you know get some cash and whatever. And then this would be where the vault would be using some of those um, nice jail doors. And then we got the general store. So this is basically where you can buy every little bit of whatever you need. And uh, yeah, there's still no interior yet, but uh, it would look something like this. And then there's actually a back door as well to access. Maybe, you know, uh, get, get, get some stuff in there. And also have access to the living quarters, which would be on the second floor. So I guess this would just be where the person owning the shop would be living and then there's also a connection here to this little bit which is a staircase up to this porch for the second layer so we actually have the whole front porch is connected for all of these buildings but this is actually kind of broken up by the general store the, the second layer porch which adds some interest i think and then we got another porch that it kind of continues along and you have these little alleyways on different levels where you can still move between the buildings and go up and down the stairs. And I've actually done a little start for the next building, but as you can see, that one isn't done yet. And that's the one that we're going to start with today. Yeah. All right, let's get started with some building so i have a little start for this building already like the, the front layer is pretty much done you got a simple door in the middle some of these uh, windows with the glass texture which look really cool as well and this is actually gonna be the undertaker so this is gonna be for our coffins and gravestones stuff like that so we're just gonna continue this uh, build that we currently have going on and not too sure exactly what we're gonna do with the build uh, let's see what textures do we want to use this one do we want to have a stairs up here probably because realistically this downstairs again is going to be the shop and up here is going to be the um the living quarters so i guess we could just go for very simple design very similar to what we have downstairs i guess um maybe something like this i don't know if we need it that high actually or something like this i don't know maybe we could do this let's decide what we want to do when we uh, know how high the building is going to be so for now i'm just going to fill in these walls actually i probably should do the layers thing so first off we're gonna why is it not filling in is that because there is a pillar in the way probably i guess um actually it only goes up to there so for now i'm just gonna fill in the walls that's usually what i do just to get the shape down and then we can always start changing where there needs to be windows and stuff once we uh, agree with the kind of shape that we have uh, chosen and designed and i really like working with a lot of these quarter ceiling or quarter walls here just to add a little bit of extra height to most levels and of course with the nature of these builds that i've been doing connecting them all with the porches they kind of need to be at least the, the first floor needs to be a similar height hello there thanks for subscribing um all right let's fill in this floor um because i don't think we'd have a staircase in the shop because again i think the shop is going to be downstairs and then the upstairs is going to be the living quarters now actually i want to kind of make this a bit of a smaller building we've got quite a big building next to this so i kind of want to go for a little bit of a smaller one so maybe we have the shop down there and it's actually just a very small next floor for like the living quarters i think that could probably i guess this would be different because this is the back of the house um yeah i guess we could do something like this the 
Just have another little roof, adding it in like that. And then probably we want to make it a little bit more detailed here on the back. Um, actually, I think we can probably just do that by getting that extra snap point there. Because that will allow us to have a little overhang on the back side of the building. Making it a little bit more interesting. Basically like this, you know. Sticking it out a little bit. Hello there. Thanks for subscribing. Um, Alright, then... I'm going to have to fill this all in. So at least these are going to have to be the little quarter walls. Going to raise them up with this. We could have... No, we can't because we need we need the snap points, I think. We're going to have to do a little bit of overlapping there. I think. Because we're going to need these snap points. Could I now remove these? Nope. Okay. It's always worth trying <laughs> to see what you can remove. Because <laughs> otherwise we could have just fit it in a normal wall but i guess we can go like that because then we have the whole wall filled in and we just need to get the right snap points so we'll make a little structure like this here at the end to get the extra snap points let's just quickly change this so that we don't forget and then we can get one overlapping like this and then like that so we get all the right snap points and i think now we can just fill this all in we have the little roof going on like this um might want to have a look at well i guess let's first change these textures because these stick out less than the adobe and we can see if we we like it like this, or maybe we want to adjust the front a little bit. I feel like we might want to have a slightly bigger front. That feels like a lot. That could work. Feels very, uh, very Dutch. I guess it's very similar to what we have over there, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. There should be some similarities, I suppose, in a big town like this. Okay, there we go. We got some windows in as well. Um, yeah, I think that works. It covers up the front nicely. There we go. And I guess we still have room to place down a, a uh, billboard there as well. So we can make the name for the shop. Which of course we can't miss out on in these builds. The, the marketing, the branding for each build is very important in these towns. Okay, we're going to have some supports here and there. Just to fill them in. Add some detail as well. There we go. Ooh, this is already like a little shady part of town. Because I think, yeah, you can still fit through here. So maybe we have like a back door here. You know, might be, might be nice. Something like that. It's always fun to build these kind of buildings because now it looks very weird. But as soon as we start changing the, the skins, it should all come together. So let's start doing that for the front over here. There we go. Okay. 
And we'll add some purple windows to these. That looks all right. Uh, we might want to add in some windows at some point as well. Definitely on the back, at least, I feel like. Because this is uh, still a very boring, a boring spot like this. That could be nice. Adding a little bit of light. Like, it's unfortunate, of course, that we can't change these little ones into, like, the window texture. But at least this works a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely have at least a window there, I feel like. Kind of have to. Do we want to have windows here? I mean, we could. But maybe we shouldn't. Because, I mean... It is the Undertaker after all, so it's kind of uh, some dark business. And I, I like this being more of a uh, dark alleyway. Um, <laughs> gunship, and then we've got the Undertaker right next to it, of course. That's fine. Okay, so... Am I still going to add a building next to this? I probably am, actually. I think it will be and i think it will be connected like these so we won't have any windows in this one because it will be a shared wall that makes this a lot easier there we go but we definitely want to have some windows back here i feel like so we'll get rid of all these and then we can kind of do maybe some of those custom windows we like yeah we could just about fit two of those windows in like so there we go just to get a little bit of light in here you know Oh, that's already connected. That's good. Good, good news. All right, so we'll fill these with the right textures as well. There we go. Yeah, that looks like a uh, proper little house now. That looks nice from the back. And we've got the front as well. Let's quickly also change the textures inside because you can see a little bit of that poking through the walls at certain places. So we want to make sure it's the right texture. And at least these windows allow a little bit of extra light in from the back as well. I guess that's probably a good thing as well. And that is actually... Some of these houses can be very easy to design, which is kind of nice for a change. And I think the strong suit of these western towns is actually getting multiple buildings together and then slowly it transforms all of them into more of a western town. Okay, let's see. That feels pretty centered. And then... There we go. Guess the shape behind it didn't matter too much. Kind of lines up very nicely with the billboard, but that's good. That's good. I really like the shape of those. I definitely need to play around with painting these as well to maybe making them blend in a little bit more and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's just playing around with colors, which we'll probably do another time. I guess Undertaker is just what you call these. Maybe I should have, like, more original names as well. And then maybe, like, uh, you know, the, the date since since this or something like that. But for now, we'll just do this. We'll have another nice shop on our street. 
And I think we only need one more building there. And then we basically have this whole thing until the end. And we kind of move that into this area right there. Which is nice. Um, and then we can slowly start planning out the rest. Slowly moving to where this, the station is going to be. Also going to want to have to build a stables and maybe like a barn somewhere on the outskirts. You know, stuff like that. But we'll see. For now, we're still in this street. We also want to add in a little extra detail to the shop. So what I really like to do is getting the thin pillar to stick out and then we can have hanging signs from these to use as extra signs in the shopping uh, street you know because you can't always see those big signs that are in front of the building you need you need an extra sign to hang down right from these there you go Because, especially once you look at the whole street, it just adds a lot of these little things that are hanging out over to the street. Which, in turn, I feel like adding that little bit of extra life as well. Instead of it just being mostly empty and just some street lights. Another thing that I actually have been wanting to implement is getting some scaffolding under this as well just so that we have um, some extra beams going through because i think this is a really nice new structure and uh, i want to make sure that we use it to its full potential here there you go Pretty much there. Okay, that's good. Just a little bit of extra support and just that extra little beam that we can see going through it. There we go. We'll add it to these as well. I do like the look of those, especially for if they're a little bit higher like this. I think it really can add to the look of it. Do we do it here as well? I guess we could. Might as well keep the consistency going. There we go. Just connected. I guess you can't really see it here anymore, but we'll know. We will know. Okay, well, there we go. The street is getting more and more complete. Um, yeah, I think we want one more building over here and then connect to this house to, to finish off this one. Probably going to have to do a little bit of uh, cleaning up here. Getting some of those trees and rocks out of the way. Just that we know that we actually have like a little... Uh, little space to work with. And I think this is going to be just another one of those normal regular houses, I think. Probably would be good. Because we don't want to use up all the shops yet because we have more of the street going the other way. And um, this is kind of the end. It makes sense you have some normal houses there. So maybe you have one normal house here before the end of the street. And then we can have more of the shops and all their important buildings. Because we still need to build like the sheriff's office and uh, the jailhouse and stuff like that over in the main part of the town i would say post office stuff like that it's a bunch of things that we still need to add to make uh to make the full western town but i think it's 
gonna be a really fun place not sure if it's gonna be a very useful base but i think at, at the end it might be because you just have a bunch of space and it will look really really cool okay well we're gonna clear out some of the things out of the street as well just to get a, a better grasp for this whole street feeling Especially the rocks, it feels very weird if they are in the middle of the street, I feel like. Okay, there we go. Okay, clearing out the street to make, to make it actually functional. Not some random crap in the middle of our busy main street. Because we need to be able to drive our carts around here, right? Probably at some point I should definitely get my, my uh, horse and cart over here. And I mean, definitely all my horses should just go here. And, and as soon as we build the stables. This is where they belong. The proper western town. All right, let's let's um, see what we can make of this last building. So it's probably not going to be too big. It's probably going to be similar size to those. So I would say three wide. Oh, we can't extend my foundations anymore. So I guess we'll just extend them low and we'll do ceilings afterwards. So I think I'm not going to make this building too big. Um, it's just going to be a normal house. I'm going to continue all of this and then we'll use... Maybe let's get rid of the plants because they're going to stick through it all. Hello there. Welcome in. Welcome in. Let's get rid of some of these plants because, uh, yeah, that's definitely not, uh, not great. And it's always such a hassle to get rid of them if it's just a little tip sticking through there we go we're getting there thank you thank you uh that's not the one i'm equipping that's the one all right so yeah we'll uh finish this building because then this part of the street is gonna be completely done there's definitely some more details that i need to add to the street because for example this side has a lot of details this one doesn't and those little props definitely is what makes the difference of really bringing this whole thing to life um yeah i guess we would just have another stair leading out from here and I guess it's the same on there because, I mean, this is the end of this little porch. Oh, the weather is about to change. There we go. Let's support this as well. There we go. Uh, we'll actually have to fill all these in. Because we don't want to have a floating building. There we go. Nice. Good to hear. The flying cowboy look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always gotta love a flying cowboy. Um, okay, there we go. We have the little porch going all the way through. We'll add the scaffolding before I forget. So basically, I think we're going to do something very similar to this house. Um, especially with this shape in the, in the roof. I kind of like the vibe of that. Um, 
although we're gonna still make it a little bit different of course i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the door over there we're actually gonna make sure that the insides are on the outside so it has even different textures as well so i think what we'll do is we'll make a shape like this because then we can have one of those fancy windows here there we go something like that and then we'll fill it all the way in because we'll have to get the porch right of course fill these in it's gonna be the end of the porch I actually think that we might want to extend it at least like this so we can also have a way on and off from that porch because otherwise it's like a dead end yeah it's like a really nice way to have a more a bigger window and unfortunately it's not able to have glass in it would be good if the glass texture that we can add to these small windows like if we could do this for a door and it would turn it into more like a window but in the in the meantime this is a pretty good design i mean it doesn't have glass in it but still it has the right shape like a nice tall but narrow window uh, it's like the in-between for having the glass texture on the full wall which is usually uh, a little bit of a too big window i would say Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of some of these rocks because it's kind of weird if we have the stairs instantly ending up in some big rocks and to be fair we're probably gonna add more buildings behind i mean depending on how much time we spend on scorch i might just keep extending this place with more and more buildings turning it into a bigger and bigger uh western town you know because i kind of like the vibe of it the buildings, individual buildings, not necessarily all of them are very complicated in design, but the feeling of the whole town together is just something that is very, very cool in my opinion. Do we want it like this or do we... I think we might want to want have these rotate as well, right? Um, let's... I can't get in anymore. I've locked myself out. Let's delete this. Um, there we go. I think this would be a better texture. There we go. There we go. Oh, I guess we kind of need to change these because we're going to see those textures sticking through. So maybe like this. Yeah, now we don't see any weird structures anymore. That's what we want. We can change this as well. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's a nice start to it. We'll change the look of this as well. Those little thin pillars. And we'll change this front. Just so that we can have a clear picture of what we have so far. 41st layer. Well, we might as well also fill in the door. There we go. Yeah, it's it's really nice to have these different textures. I mean, I would assume it's just an engram. So as, so as long as you've learned that, I think you will be able to use it everywhere. Because I think you can already use it on the island as well if you just have it learned maybe you can only learn it when you're on scorch but i mean i wouldn't 
You would think you would just be able to use it anywhere because you've paid for those skins anyway, right? But uh, yeah, seeing all the other skins after having these skins, I mean, I love these skins. The build options they have are amazing. I can't wait to see what other things they'll add to give more cool options like this. It almost feels like we could add in a little back porch here as well, if we would want. Maybe we'll have a second door, but we'll have to do it like this, of course. Okay, this, uh, this tree is coming, coming in close, it's obstructing my view. There we go. Um, let's see. We could we could actually have another window here. Probably could actually have two windows here because I think it's gonna just about line up perfectly yeah i mean i would assume you can just use the skins everywhere because we've paid for it so it wouldn't make any sense if if they would limit where you can use them because i think even the trains you can use everywhere which eh, might cause uh, chaos especially if you're building on public servers and stuff Okay, there we go. We'll make some more of these windows because we might as well stick to the same one everywhere. And then we'll have the first layer of the build pretty much done. I guess we want to maybe just have a stair here so you can actually use this as a proper door and it's not just a balcony, which is very low. <laughs> um, yeah, probably makes more sense to have it like this. There we go. Definitely want to add one more here. Okay, well, I think we probably want to have that one as a little support. So we've got the little porch going on. We could, if we want to have some scaffolding underneath I guess it does help a little bit with uh, making it feel more supported there we go changing the textures get the little rail in There we go. I like the front already. That's looking looking good for sure. This window is a little bit cramped, but... Um, I think it's going to be alright. Yeah, that, I, that's the one thing I hate for, uh, for Ark as well. Like, the... Your, your hair not changing with the skins you can wear. Or I, I, I guess does change. Like doesn't stay the same. It's really annoying. And especially since we only have so few hair types anyway now. Wouldn't make that much work just to make them work with skins, you know. Having something stick out of it. Okay, we got the first layer pretty much done here of the end of the building. Let's see, because it would kind of make sense to have that supported. This is kind of like a, the big corner, but... kind of want it to be sticking out, of course. There we go. I think that's fine. 
gonna oh nope gonna add in the railings as well to finish off this porch that we've got going on we'll be able to access it from there um most of this is actually all from memory from one of the games that i used to play like a shooter set in the western style on showdown um and it had these buildings where you could move between and you had like staircases at the back to get there but i think it really works it's almost like a second shopping street up there we definitely need to add details though because now it's way too open way too clear we definitely need some uh some extra things i mean yeah i i, I will always take more uh, variants of any build structure because they're just always is a good idea in my opinion i just want to build more um did we add a door here nope let's add a door in there there we go sometimes it's a lot of flying around trying to make sure that you've changed all the textures but i think we got the first layer done there um no i'm actually not sure if i want to have like a proper door anywhere here um maybe i don't know Yeah, I guess I have to now stick my staircase down through the floor because of reasons. Luckily, we can make that work. There we go. Since this is just a normal house from someone, it needs to, needs to have a stair inside, of course, because you want to have access to your whole house. Does it make sense to have a door here? I mean, we could, I guess, just have another. There we go. Um, that does mean we can't have any of the fancy windows going on if we go for this. And we already have the normal, win uh, normal window over there. So maybe what I do is I go for one of those like that maybe and then here we could still have oh wait these were supposed to be inside out right so we have a door over there normal on top And then we'll make another tall window there. And we'll add in this little shape to the roof. There we go. That should work. Looks good to me. We'll add the door in. Yeah, I really love the texture of these uh, frontier pieces because they have a lot of depth to the textures, which is just really great for building because they almost add in their own details without the necessarily need of, you know, adding a bunch of other things that you maybe would do otherwise um because yeah there's just so much more things going on yeah clingers is also really good i think but i think i really think that these textures they've made are on par with clingers like i really think they did a re really good job with these textures um 
And since I don't use any mods on this server, for building at least, not yet. Maybe I will do at some point, but... Um, yeah, I haven't, haven't done that so far. Okay, let's see. This is definitely looking, looking good. I love the front of this building. We'll definitely be painting some of these because, as you can see, this kind of blends in together. It's very brown. It's very boring. So I think adding a couple more colors to this street will definitely help setting them apart. But it is really starting to feel like a proper western down there. Um, and that's that's amazing. I kind of want to make two windows here as well. You know, kind of want to take that away. Yeah, let's... Let's try this, because I kind of like the symmetry of having two of those windows going on, on front. There you go. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that looks nice, and then I think we can just have the door right here. There we go. Just have the door right here on this side. I think that makes a lot more sense. So we have the nice front windows. Getting some light into the build. Yeah, that's good. Okay, well, I guess now we kind of need to finish off the rest of this shape. We can just add in normal walls for now. Decide where we want to have some windows because i think it's safe to assume that we would want some i guess we take out these because overlapping them i don't think is necessary the roof is gonna <laughs> budge in a little bit but that's fine there we go And we'll finish off this shape like so as well. Hmm, let's see. I kind of want to try something here. Maybe, just maybe, we can make this back a little bit more interesting. Like so. Hmm. So technically, we would just have a flat roof, but I'm trying to do something different here. Seeing what we can do. I'm glad you like the town. Yeah, decoration mod I might add in uh, kind of would help a lot with the look of everything. A uh, church and a graveyard seems like a good idea for the town. I feel like that does fit the theme. So that could be on the list. Okay, so my idea for this is that we do this create that one nice big tall window here in the middle and then we kind of have to change these like so i do really like the look of that you know having that nice big window going on um not quite sure how we're gonna fill in the rest but we'll figure that out because i was planning on having a flat roof but I feel like this is a really cool detail to have as well. Sets this building apart a little bit. There we go. Fill that all in. And maybe do that all like so. 
Yeah, I think that does look pretty good, right? Thank you, Dave. Thank you so much. What a super chat. I think that's my first a super chat is what it's called, right? I don't even know. Never had one before. <laughs> Thank you so much. Might look good up on that ledge. Yeah, so the plan... I'm, I'm assuming you mean this ledge. So the plan is... Um, the train station is going to be somewhere along these parts where the, the straight track are. So I guess having the church wouldn't be too bad because we definitely have a part of the town up on that layer as well. And I guess it makes sense that you can kind of see the church from like most of the town. Okay, um, I think, I think I really want to have that window there, even though it's at the back, but that might be good because if I'm adding a street, that means that at least that building we can still use from this side as well. Oh, what the heck? It came a little bit late, the sound, but it's, it's there. It's like, wait, uh, <laughs> I didn't see any Rexes here. Um, uh, let's see, what kind of roof do we want? Do we just want this normal roof? What does it look like flip? Maybe we have it flipped around, yeah. Maybe we do it like this. We got our first guest in our, uh, western town. Maybe we do it like this, because this texture... I like that. He's actually using the street. That makes me so happy for some reason. Look at him. Look at him. He's just he's just browsing our western town. He's just checking it out. I hope you like it, sir. This town is still big enough for the both of us, so... No issues there. Oh, jeez. The only problem with trying to do, like, any building on this map is the constant weather events. Okay, um, could we, could we maybe add in these beams? Yeah, I think that works. Um, nah, that might be too much. Okay, I do like this, uh, the, the upside down roof textures. Makes the whole building a little bit different. Gives it more, more shape even. And I really do like the the big tall window on the back. I think I also want to add in these above my window. Hmm. Does feel a little bit random at some of these places. So maybe we just do them like this instead. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. The street looks really fun now. Um, especially once we start painting some of these buildings, like, like we did on this side, to add in a little bit more color. I'd only did the bank so far. Um, yeah, this can be a very, very fun place. Okay, well, I think that is the first street of the western town done. So, let's take a little look at what my plans are. We have this first street, which basically... Brings you right up to what I think is going to be the center of town. You've got the saloon. So I kind of want to make sure that we have, like, we want to have a road leading this way down to these plains down there. So we'll probably have, like, a diagonal street going down that way. And then we'll have the main street right here. This is going to be the square, and then it's going to lead right up to this way so that it can connect to the train station that we built here. Because, well, we got the train tracks here, so this is definitely 
where the train station will be and then we can definitely have like a little part of town here as well maybe at the church up there because then we have some space around it for a nice little graveyard but the main bustling streets are going to be down on this layer that we've been building so far and uh yeah i think we could be up to something really nice definitely need some stables as well maybe it makes sense to have the train station right there and then the stables close to it you know all the travel located close to each other and then i think what i want to do is on like the outskirts of town so maybe right here i want to build like a bigger barn where we can have more dinos stored you know almost like the, the farmlands uh, of the whole place okay but so far we got a little town going on i think we definitely are due for a water tower or two we also need to make sure that we've got a little windmill somewhere to if we want to have a base going on here we can at least have a generator running before we get to the tech generators um so I think a nice water tower design would definitely be suited. Maybe actually in the backyard here for the saloon. Because I feel like it does make a lot of sense. Why can't I move? Sometimes there's these invisible things that I cannot move across. I think it might be these plans sometimes. The hitboxes seem to be bug. A wanted poster i don't really know maybe with the I, don't, I actually don't know like probably on the canvas but you would have to make like a picture to fit that thing um let's see if we want to make a water tower what do we do so far usually what i've been doing is just um getting a pillar up uh, I think we don't want to make it too high because the thing itself is also pretty big usually what I do is I make one of these platforms and that fits just about a um, the, the new water skin but maybe we make one that's a little bit bigger for like the main town and then probably want to have a hatch frame for one of these so we can get up there as well let me just fill this in i think that can work um do any thick fillers or not i don't think we do oh See, something is pushing me away here. I think it might be those bushes. They're not letting me do my my thing. Okay, I might have to delete those plants. See, even my pillar disappeared because of the plants. I love the plants, but they seem to be causing me some, some issues as well. Which is not great. There we go. See, more issues here. And the plants... Oh my god. And the plants are way over here. Because this is a real plant. It's so strange. Yeah, I'm gonna use scaffolding. But I'm just building... Uh, some pillars for support. But the scaffolding is going to be the main look, I think. Yeah, the plants seem to be, be weird for me in this spot, at least. Okay, we can get rid of that one. Um, there we go. So let's just change the skins of these pillars before they will be very difficult to see. 
Thank you, thank you. Um, let's change all these. Actually, been also working on uh, different builds um, in between as well, like a little pyramid out in the desert. Um, I kind of want to do a little bit more work on that before I show it. But um, yeah, that was one of the things that I thought of of building when I was thinking about what what can I do on Scorched Earth before I knew exactly you know what the Frontier pack was gonna give us. Of course, when once we saw the pack, I was like, yeah, I do need to do some Western stuff because it's just too too good for that with everything and the decoration as well. But yeah, I did still want to do a pyramid. So I'm, I'm building like a normal, your typical pyramid, you know, the, the, the thing you would expect when you think of pyramid. But I did, of course, on the island do like a very big tech base um eventually or like a modern cool modern base and i think i might want to try to do a second pyramid as well but then do more like of a modern one maybe more like the tech side could be cool as well so i have like a ladder going down we can't do it all the way that's fine i guess that also means that we we'll see we'll see how this works. That's a very big tower if we do it like this. Is that the best way to do it? I don't know. I do not know. What would it look like if we then the whole circle around it is just weird, right? Hmm. Well, one thing I know for sure is that we're going to have to fill this one in because we have to be able to access the ladder. That is for sure. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let's stay indoors and just play Ark. Okay, so yeah, now you can still come up here, get to the ladder, get right to the top. Which is going to be nice, and then we'll add in the skins here as well, of course. And then the challenge is going to be... Adding in the water thing in the exact center. See, because now it's not, it's not centered. Okay, what if, what if I am the center? Is this, is this centered? I think it might be. We'll definitely be stuck. But that looks very centered to me. Uh, <laughs> I'm inside now. This is my life. Uh, cheat ghosts. Yeah, we made it outside. That does look very centered now. So that's good. There we go. Safety first, of course. We've got to have to some railings. <laughs> so that's how you do it. You just you just place it on top of yourself. Then it's centered. Okay. So yeah, from here you would see that thing, you know, has a little bit of detail. 
It's definitely a big one now, but... I mean, at least you can also access it, because normally if the small platform, you can't really do much with it. And I feel like here in center of town, it makes more sense to have a bigger version of one of these. And we can have some different variations on like the outskirts, because we're probably going to add more of these, because they do definitely feel like very western. I have the fancy ladder as well. Um, and I th think it's going to take some time, but I think I actually want to make these railings or the, the, the pillars stick out as well. Just to add in that extra little bit of detail to this shape. And that at least will give us water. If I do decide to at some point move here for survival as well then at least we'll uh we'll have some water here as well and the rain can start collecting there we go nope it's always tricky with these pillars because you can't really see if you're looking at it. So I guess that's a trick. If I don't see anything, I'm looking at it. There we go. Yeah, just a little little thing above the railing. I really like that always. Especially now with the thin pillars. Uh, the thin pillars might also be one of my favorite things they've added. Especially since, I mean, they added the wall back, but then they didn't add the, the thin beams. And I was like, wait, why? But now they've added everything. So that's perfect. Yeah, I think that works. And now we just need to see if we... Yeah, we're going to probably do scaffolding all around, right? Because realistically, it's a, a thing full of water. That's going to be heavy. Oh, I like these beams, the scaffolding connecting like that. That might be a good little trick to do. So like that. There we go. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, definitely. We definitely do scaffolding all the way. That is definitely the way to go. Especially since we use the, the thin pillars. Those are not strong enough to hold up all that water. Okay, let's to it here as well scaffolding is also a really cool addition i mean I'm, i know we should get the center first but i can't wait to see building wise what the other bobtail packs are gonna give us because we get one for aberration and one for extinction, at least. So that's going to be exciting to see more of this kind of stuff. Okay, we have one that kind of doesn't line up, but it's also the one side that's the hardest to see. So I guess it's it's all right. It's because we we have this one here. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. That looks like a proper supported water tower. That's going to give us all the water we need in this beautiful town of ours. Um, now, the only thing that would be nice to have somewhere around the center of town would be this thing, of course, because... If I'm going to power some of these things so that I have lights. 
Gonna want to have this, but how weird does that look? Is it out of place? Because I feel like, yeah, you wouldn't really see that in town. It does have a pretty big range, right? Yeah, not too big because it's not even covering all of the street. So I definitely can't just have it like on the outskirts where I'm going to do the farming area. So I guess, I guess we could have it there. Well, we'll see. We'll, uh, we're not using the power. I mean, I have the generator here, but I haven't powered it because too risky, too risky. Don't want to burn down my town. Yeah, I mean, we could, of course, we would get rid of the tree if we're going to actually place it there, but. Uh, want to be careful with the trees, because if we're not placing it there, we definitely want to keep it. Speaking of trees, these two, you kind of want to have to be able to go there. So I think the one in the corner here might have to go. Oh, heat wave. Let's look for a phoenix. There we go. Because you should still be able to... Like, that should still make sense. And we have the other trees. Definitely want to keep those. Okay. I don't think anyone is on, so I feel no guilt in clearing the heat wave. And if someone is on, I'm going to get a mad chat message in any second. Yeah, so we got a little bit of trees when you leave the main streets. Uh, we'll definitely have to get rid of some of the bushes, but we'll do that some other time. Okay, so we've got the main street done. Kind of want to make sure that we plan out whatever is next. Yeah, this is this is the middle of the map. That's why I wanted to build a town here because it's so central. So I knew that if I eventually want to end up using this as a base, it is just very convenient as well. Especially uh, because there's still a goal to connect it all with with train tracks. And as you can see, I've actually started detailing these pillars. So instead of having those ugly single pillars that we have over there, I've actually done done some supports that look kind of all right you know um i also removed pillars because when placing the tracks you need pillars after every two tracks so there was another pillar right here but you can remove those afterwards if i because yeah well just like with normal structures normally you need after every three structures you need a pillar but if you connect that up with six of them you can remove the middle pillar it's, it's the same with tracks so yeah we actually have the track going around to the other base but as you can imagine, even with, uh, if, if you were to do everything in creative, it still takes a lot of time to make some of these pillars. So I just do a little bit every now and then to slowly but surely get that all together. Ooh, yeah, um, coal mine would be really cool. So yeah, I kind of want to make sure that this is the square. So for this street, what I might want to do is have some kind of building still here, maybe. But I kind of would want to have to like almost be like a triangle. <laughs> Just because that would really help with um, pointing it the right way. Let's see, actually. There might be some good spots for a coal mine somewhere here. Because we do have, like, this cliff with the with the overhang. I mean, that might be a little bit too far. But I think we could definitely build, like... We could just build, like, an entrance to the mine somewhere against this cliff. And just pretend like that's the mine entrance. That could be pretty good, actually. 
Because that would add some, some interesting points around the town as well. Besides just having the main street. Okay, so if... If I want to have the street going that way... Oh, yeah, maybe. I think the next build that I want to add is probably this train station, actually. Because that will give me... Um, a lot of clarity of what to do next. Like how to connect those most important things up. Because we have the saloon. Which I feel like that is the center of town. And knowing where the train station is going to be. Is like. The next step. So we could actually. We could actually start with. At least adding in like the platforms and stuff for the train station I suppose. Okay, so let's see how this all lines up. I think for the last platform that we made. It was like something like this. There we go. Because you want the platform to be a little bit higher so that um, you know it kind of lines up a little better with those structures so let's actually see what would this look like I think this would also line pretty well with the other side right Um, there's a slightly bigger gap, I feel like, on this side. But overall, I don't think it's too bad. Could we extend? Oh my lord, that sounds always unexpected. Uh, thank you, Dave, again. Uh, oh, you did the... Um you mean the like the big tech bay? So what, what? Which one do you mean? The the last one I did, like the big a uh, the big modern bill. Yeah, we could try and see. I think in this case I would probably be okay without blocking the train, um, because that is always the tricky part. I guess we could build a little test right like this, and then just see if I can still drive it past um, and I can still also add in the, the, the support which is always nice to know the only thing this would make the platform like a weird angle yeah the tech A-frame yeah 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 that, I actually have the full tutorial for that so the step by step tutorial coming up tomorrow let's make sure that all of these are attached before we do any type of uh, testing. There we go. They should all be touched now. There we go. I think it should be fine because we're not really touching the track at all. But better to be safe than sorry. So we'll just move the train out of the way. And we'll get it back going this way. There we go. Let's see if we can still move fast. No, we're actually totally fine. Yeah, we're totally fine. And this seems to be the right height, you know, easily to get on and off. So yeah, that is good. We're, we're good with the height. And this is probably the best option. Then we have a little bit of a bigger gap on one side than the other side. But that's... That's totally fine because this is only the platform in between tracks because realistically we're going to either build another platform on that side or maybe on that side depending on what we're allowed to. We might not be able to build a platform here just because of the, the landscape. A lightning dragon. Ooh. Lightning. But it fits perfectly. Yeah, that's good. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, see, this is the way we do the things in our tribe. I do all the building and she's breeding the uh, powerful wyverns in this case. Um, we've got some very cool looking and pretty good ones in fire. They're bright blue, which are really cool. Oh, you hear me. Okay, that saves me a lot of time. Because we already have like the blue fire ones, so I, I would I would say something different to the blue. That's what I mean. Not something different to what we have, but uh, something different to the the blue that we have for the fire. I think we had some some black and red accents, maybe. I don't know if that was lightning actually. I mean, the, yeah, putting the quarters here is the risky part because then it's exactly lined up, but we'll see. Okay. Oh, well, that's not what I want. Nope. <laughs> so at least we'll make this platform, which I guess is the most tricky one because it's in between. The other one is going to be easier because we'll have all the space to work with. Oh god. I, I don't think I'm allowed to skip the heat now. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not allowed to skip the heat, so we're going to look a little bit orange now. I think I won't be getting any more wyverns if I skip the heat. Okay, do we extend it to here? Maybe not for now. Ooh, that's already pretty tight fit. Hello there, Brenda. Welcome in, welcome in. It's going pretty good. We've uh we've just finished the first part of the like main road for our little western town over here i do need to start painting some of the fronts of the buildings but um yeah we're gonna do all this i don't think you want to actually connect the rail to the platform i mean a gap is very normal to have between the platform and then uh, and the, and the actual train tracks, I think. Okay, this is good. We can just continue this all the way. Can we already? Trap didn't work. Maybe it was too small. I don't know. There we go. I guess what I'm doing right now is not really efficient because I don't want to have these pillars eventually. If we're going to have the other pillars as well. Yeah, the, the problem with triangles is that they don't line up with like the normal ceiling. If I have a ceiling here, like the triangle is not lining up, which is kind of annoying. We'll uh, fill this in first and then we'll see if we want to change anything around there we go okay so up to there is where we can place it and we'll place some more pillars okay there we go again That's the only gripe I have with the, the triangles, that they are great, but they are... Sometimes I really wish that there was also a block that would connect like a corner, you know.
But hey, can't complain because the building that we have right now is already a million times better than what we had before in um, Evolved. So, you know, we'll do what we have to do to make things work. There we go. Yeah, for shaping the ends, that could definitely work. I like to do that as well. I do that a lot with balconies and stuff. Just have like a more rounded end to a platform or a balcony instead of, you know, having the square shape. Because with the way the build system works, you know, with the pieces that we have, it's you always end up with very square shapes anyway. For some builds, that's fine, of course. But for some builds, it's good to try and break that up in any way possible. Triangle walls, we definitely need like different steepness levels. Like a shallow one and a steeper one. I know mods do have that. I think what I'm gonna do is... Um, normally I don't have too many mods because I wanna do have the builds that I do be accessible for the biggest amount of people, you know? Uh, even though a lot of people, I guess, play with mods but i think what i might do for at least for the center i feel like i might add some building mods to play around with just to change it up a little bit because we're not getting any new build stuff not like what we did uh, got with uh scorched and then with aberration of course we'll get the other pack or part of the pack which will give us some new stuff again so i probably will play around with some mods in that case all right, she found the phoenix. Yeah, I guess the only part would be that little part would not uh, go with it. But at least it adds a little bit of this rounded shape. Oh, there we go. What? The phoenix is right here? He's just watching me build. I'm actually kind of annoyed because we have one phoenix, which is also might be exactly this color, actually. No, this might be a little bit darker red, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like Wildcard is also just leaning into... He has pink? Oh, he didn't look like he had, like, pink fire. He Oh, no, he has a little pink tail. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so he is different. There's also a blue phoenix, which I would love. Of course. Um. Yeah, I don't think we need to fill all that in. Yeah, that is the fire dragon I was talking about that we have. That's a very cool one. Okay, so we could have the end right there, but then we kind of have this part that feels annoying. But I could do this. I guess that works. And then we... Have the support right there. There we go. Now we'll probably want to do the scaffolding just to make this not look like the weird floating platform. But more importantly, I guess we want to check. Yeah, we need we need quarter pieces for everything. <laughs> For the roof, for the triangles, for slope things. Like, there's, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of extra pieces that I would love to have. Just for those little situations where you might just need it, you know? Okay, before I start clearing everything out on this side, let's test a little part. If I can actually, with this landscape that we have right next to us even make uh, a platform on this side we kind of have to because otherwise that track can never have a platform but it could just be the track that just continues you know so uh, stations have that the, the track that doesn't actually stop here um let's see so i want to get this one then we want to raise it up and that's the one Nope, that's not the one we want to do. 
there we go and this is the one i want to connect my pillar to because then if i delete those it will stay i mean i think i might be able to fit the platform on this side as well um and it would kind of you know go into the landscaping but that is fine right that is totally acceptable yeah we can work with that and of course we need to fix things like the the way over the track you know build something above the train so you can go from platform to platform but um i think this platform is definitely gonna work out which is uh that's actually very lovely i had expected more problems there we go And I think the main building for the station is probably going to be on this side because that feels like it makes more sense because it's actually where the town is. But we could have like a smaller building on this side, of course. Maybe some like storage places where the train just comes by to drop off, uh, you know, goods for the town. Because I think I actually might make multiple trains because we made like a... A very beautiful looking train maybe not the most practical like we do have some smelting on board but just the normal forges and we do have a little cart for dinos as well but i might want to make a more survival based train where i have like the industrial forge on top of it and stuff like that so then having multiple platforms where you can get on and off might be really really useful okay so now the heat wave is gone so I'm, I'm gonna change this weather and i think we just about failed it that is that is awfully close to being tamed that is very very close well i am gonna change this weather because this is not great to build in and very noisy so that will give you more chance to get the um heat wave again oh i guess i'm building the <laughs> i'm extending the platform maybe a little bit too far I wasn't paying attention i guess we want to probably just keep it the same length right would make more sense Okay, there we go. Well, I definitely kind of want to start clearing out all these things now. There we go. Can I also get rid of of that one thank you okay yeah we're gonna have to clear all this out because otherwise it's gonna be very annoying with the platform but then we can get a better feeling of like the area the amount of space we have to work with for our train station I don't think we're going to be able to build the entire train station today, but I kind of want to at least get the platforms in place and maybe get some of the smaller infrastructure done. Okay, this is this is the blue dragon. I know this this dragon. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is on my face. Ooh, that's almost like you've drained the color out of it. But the pink wings are. Kind of cool. Yep, 
Yeah, I do not like the gray. The gray is very colorless. Yeah, I would say I'm I'm probably happy with any color as long as it's not the same one. I love this color. I, I this is perfect, but I think if we all have the same thing, that's going to be boring. So having the lighting be something different. Pink would be good, you know. Yeah, fun color is always nice. I mean, yeah, the oh, the Woyfans do look great. Um, okay, let's see if we're running into any more stuff. Well, we definitely will also have to sickle this place for sure. Yeah, the blue one is uh, is, is yeah definitely awesome. I love I love blue anyway, and this blue is really really nice. We do have like the um, any color mod on the server, which basically it allows dinos to spawn with much more colors than normally are available. But they are still colors that are already in the game. So if you would remove the mod later, the dinos would still stay, which is really good because then if if something breaks with mods, you still have your dinos around. And it just allows you to find some more unique dinos, which is really cool. Because then, you know, you're not only looking for, oh, I want to have a high level, but I also want to have a cool color. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, sometimes the color combinations go a little bit crazy. You get like very bright colors together that don't really match. But um, sometimes, and in this case, it's also brad up a little bit. Because I think originally it didn't have the white belly, but um, yeah, it does look really good. The, the 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 blue is is amazing. Gonna get this rock out of the way. I think I'm gonna keep the ones on the edge because that might just be a nice way to transition from the platform into the landscape again. I think this might already be the last rock that we need to remove. Oh, that's actually two rocks. Yeah, I, I, I looked at that as well, but I kind of like the thrill of having to both find the good level and the right color. When I'm not building, you know, all I really do is go out and look for good themes. Because, I mean, I spend most time building, let's be honest. So then it's fun to have that little bit of a challenge. Finding cool colors as well as good levels. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to cut down some of these plants as well, but at least we can fit in our little platform here. And we were able to do it all the way. Like, it's not gonna be a bigger platform than this, but that's fine because if we build something, it's just gonna be like smaller buildings. Uh, I guess that's, that's totally okay. Um, let's take out this one. I guess it's going to be easier if I go underneath. Can I fit all the way though? There we go. I guess that one can stay actually. Please go away, plants. Gonna have all the fiber in the world. There we go. Because we can't build a new train station platform and then have it be overgrown already. Now, if you want to build an abandoned station, then leaving the plants in would be a good move. Come on, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let's cut down a little bit of this edge. Turns out that was all one big bush, I guess. Okay, 
Okay. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of this. A little bit more plants over here. Yeah, I guess I could also whip them. I keep forgetting about the whip, to be honest, because I've never used it. Uh, I've used it a little bit now on Scorch, but I didn't use it before when I play Evolve. To be fair, I played my. Fa I thought I played quite a bit of Arc, to be honest, uh, Evolved. But looking back at it, I really didn't do that much because this week, maybe today, no, probably, probably not today, but this week I'm gonna pass. Uh, my evolved hours on ascended so yeah but to be fair i've actually played this a lot because of doing all the builds and making all the uh the the videos and stuff but uh yeah still it's crazy it feels very crazy that i've played this game more than evolved because i thought i played that a fair bit like i knew i wasn't the like the most hardcore player because i never finished most maps but i did play most of them so it was, it's kind of surprising that i'm already passing those hours yeah i guess that just shows you how much i've been building okay so let's all end this platform with this as well next time i'll use the whip i'll promise um if i don't forget yeah i i, I only had like uh 650 650 hours i think so that's not that's not too much for considering how long it had been around uh but yeah so now i just exposed myself i've already played this game for 600 hours i don't know if that's a lot probably there's people that have more already see let's also add in these beams or the, the pillars where we can even though we don't really need them i suppose yeah i think for most people it's gonna be more difficult to beat the uh, evolved hours I mean, that's also the reason... Actually, the reason why I got this game was to actually finally play all the maps and finish all the, the bosses and story, you know? Because I never really got around finishing those all. And then I realized how good the building was and that kind of took over as well. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, that's one platform. That's two platforms. I'm not going to build the third because then we're going to just be spending more time doing the same thing. So for now, let's change at least the look of these that's a lot of hours i'm guessing that's also evolved because if that is ascended that is impossible because i don't believe you have more hours on this game than me i mean i know i don't have that many in uh, ase but i'm saying that i have that already in this game now as well Yeah, but for AZ, I was actually quite surprised that it was only 600. I guess I uh, was very efficient in my time playing. There we go. We got the sports. This will already help change the look of this very much.
Okay, well, at least we will make a bunch of progress on the town today. We have the first part of the main street done and we'll have a pretty good basis down for the station as well, which is exciting because that's going to be one of the highlights, of course. We've got the saloon, which was kind of like the first landmark, but the station was definitely the second on that list of cool things I wanted to build. That's actually why I did the smaller tra train station that I did at, my, uh, at the starter base, just to get, you know, into the flow, get the first design going. Because this station that we built here eventually is going to be the main station. This is like the central train station for the entire map. Literally. Because it's almost at the middle. Um, yeah, it should be the big, big train station as well. Hello there. Thank you for the subscription. The follow. Um, it's always confusing. Every platform uses different words. There you go. I like the little, uh, little weird shape we have. Makes it more unique. And also, I like that I missed this one. Um, okay, I can't really do this. So let's find if there is any pillars hiding. We're not going to see them. But we'll know if they are not changed to the right texture. Ah, Mr. Banana is here as well. Okay, there we go. One more platform to do. Yeah, this is... Because if you look at where we are at the map... I'm literally at like the center of the entire map. So the idea is that um, every base that I do end up building is going to be connected. The first train track that I've built already connects us to the desert base, the ruin base that we're working on, which is also in survival is actually where we're playing right now. Um, so that is already connected with the tracks. I just need to build the proper good looking support tracks for the tracks everywhere. But that's a job that just just very boring and will take me a lot of time. Then we have the starter base, which is also connected up with the same loop. Um, and actually already has a station as well. So that's the first fully finished station. Because the Desert Ruins does have the station, but only the platform, not the actual build yet. So very similar to this, because this now has the platform, but not yet the full build. And then, depending on what other bases that I might be doing, we'll probably try to connect that with the train as well. I am working on the pyramid. I made a pyramid design somewhere along the trench because, uh, yeah, I wanted to do a pyramid. But, um, yeah, I, I think I might connect that with the train. It'll be fun just to have a train passing the Wyvern Cave or the Wyvern Trench, you know? Why not? Could be fun. But uh, yeah, placing the tracks around the map is definitely also a uh, not a very entertaining thing to do because it's just very repetitive and not very creative. Uh, but eventually it's fun to ride the train. Uh, the train is definitely not the most efficient way to get around because in my mind you would be able to move across the train. You know, you could go from cart to cart, but it's quite buggy if you try to walk around. Um, so... Well, at least it's easy to move stuff with you. I love all the new skins. The Frontier Pack so far has absolutely been my favorite new thing. I already loved the building in, in Ascended, but now with these new additions, that really got me excited. Um, because especially for non-modded plays, it just gives you finally so many more options. Okay, so I guess we definitely want to have some scaffolding just to, you know, finish off this look. And I'm not going to do every part just yet because that would take so long. So we're just going to first do the thing that we're really going to see, which is this part. 
And then uh, in between when I feel bored and I just want to click, I'll <laughs> finish the rest. But I think, yeah, we definitely want to add in that little shape around. There we go. Yeah, the maps are all free, Dave. It's only the uh, the new DLC pack that is paid, which has like the extra building stuff and etc. But the maps themselves will all be free, at least the ones that used to be in uh, Evolved. Because I think they're also going to eventually make new story maps. Like one or two, I think they said. All right, well, that's definitely a nice little uh, little station. Yeah, I mean, Star Wars builds would be really cool. I was actually, I had on my list for when I was brainstorming what to build and what to do with the launch of Scorched. One thing on my list was actually building, uh, building a Tatooine-based home. But, I mean, circles are not strong suit of Ark's build system. And then also all the frontier stuff was dropped and I was like, yeah, well, I'm going to have to build uh, some cowboy stuff, you know, I have to. It's required now. So maybe, but uh, yeah, it's it's different, difficult to do some some original things. And especially, of course, the Tatooine stuff. Oh, I didn't extend my pillar yet, uh, especially because of the Tatooine stuff is nat naturally also in into the ground and you can't really landscape in Ark. But it would definitely be fun to try some. Probably uh, you want to add the modded thing so you have more possibilities. There we go. Okay, the one thing that I not, don't necessarily like is that the platform is going to be quite high up. But I guess well, we can find a way to make that look nice. And it's only going to be for this part. Over there, it's not going to be that high. It's green, but I can't place it. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm so excited to see what other textures we're gonna get for those uh, for those other two maps that we know we get the the extra adventure things for. Steampunk sounds very interesting to get some blocks for, some structure skins for, um, as well as the wasteland. But the wasteland is like very broad, I guess. go um yeah let's at least make the start of this platform because that will save me quite some time next time and we'll get a little bit more of an idea of where exactly the train station is gonna be There we go, because I think the actual train station, we want to build it as much as possible over at that corner. So that it isn't too high floating on a platform. And we still have a decent ways to go here. There we go.
yeah, so that's about as long as the platform will be. Um, so this is probably what it will look like once it's actually in the station eventually. Yeah, that looks good. That makes a lot of sense. Well, that is quite exciting. And then I think the, the main station build... Yeah, we want to do it as much as possible over on this side. So, in fact, I might actually extend the platform a little bit this way. Because if not for the actual, you know, getting on and off the train, it could still be used for where the build of the, the station building itself is going to be, basically. Oh yeah, some trees are gonna have to go eventually, but for now we'll, we'll keep it like this. Just to get a clearer picture in our mind to see what we could be working with eventually. No, you can, I think you can have multiple trains just when you're placing them down. You need to place them uh, a little bit apart. So if I want to place a second train, I can't do it right behind this one or in front of this one. It needs to be a little bit away but i think if if i go over here just before the track splits and if i get another train i probably should just be able to place it there we go yeah so yeah you can definitely have multiple trains and then that's going to be cool in the station because it's going to be fun to have multiple trains being uh, stationed here. It's also a good way to make sure that the station never looks empty, especially because this is going to be a bigger station. There's probably going to be always one track where I just leave a train here. Uh, you know, the, the cosmetic train, which is just always here. And then we can just have another practical train to drive around. Um, which will be which will be good. Okay, well this is definitely already starting to add to the, to the town. You can definitely start to feel like it's a proper train station in instead of just some random tracks. And then I think we'll have some kind of st station building mostly over on that side. And some nice stairs connecting to... To the floor here and then slowly turning into the main street and then i think probably right here on this corner i think we'll have enough place to build like a nice stables building as well so that we have every travel measure close by so you get by train you can easily pick up your horse at the stables and the other way around you can leave your horse at the stable pick the train and go to any of or other bases basically um yeah, I think that is probably a pretty good layout. Um, this this rock, I think I left it because I saw it and I was like, oh no, this matches. But it doesn't match anymore. Because we changed the textures. Okay, I don't want to hit my own floor. There we go. Um, that should be fine. Yeah, we got a couple more rocks sticking out that one is actually not too bad you know we'll leave them this is just rocks rolled onto the platform oh yeah I, I i love that that style the japanese style that's also why i did it for the i did a, like a small version on the oasis or here i actually was planning on doing those styles on on the center but then of course it got delayed so i decided just to go ahead and do it yeah, this is gonna look very fun whilst once we've done the entire station and we've made like a proper build out of this this is gonna be a really cool feature of this town okay so one of the things that we need to know and we probably want to design over somewhere on this side of the building is like how high do these stairs need to be for us to transfer over 
probably like this. I feel like that would be quite reasonable. Why am I not allowed? I guess because it's not connected up. Is it actually... It's not the same line, is it? Yeah, it's not the same. Okay, then I think we definitely want to line it up from uh, the main one. But you'd think there is foundation support below. But I think you probably want to build something like this, which comfortably fits the whole train underneath. I mean, yeah, it can probably fit through a smaller gap, but I want to make sure that it's like future proof and it will also look nice. So instead, if I have like a bigger train, it would still look like it, it, it should work, you know? Okay, let's get in some pillars because I don't think this design needs to be too complicated. And um, probably just to make sense, we'll have all four of these go down like that. And it still does not count as foundation support. That is annoying. Because I kind of don't want to have to add this. That doesn't even count. Interesting. Why does it not count? You'd think that whole platform has foundation support. Because it literally is connected to the ground right there. So why are you not allowing me to do that? There we go. Yeah, because we basically want to extend it by two more, I would say. Um, I don't think scaffolding necessarily counts because I think scaffolding is just uh, a different wall texture, basically. So I don't think having this, let's see, okay, I need to be able to see what, what way I'm placing it. Okay, so yeah, that's probably where we want to fill it in. We can try and see if it works. But I don't think it's going to count. There we go. Or is that one more? It's one more. Yeah, it's still not. Still doesn't count. So maybe. Um, if I can still get there. So you'd think if I do like. Like this. We'll just add like... Because we're not really going to see these. We'll just add a bunch of these pillars. Because... Yeah, with the scaffolding, you're not going to really notice them anyway. But it still does not allow me to place anything. Okay, what if I place one 
right here on the edge. Still not. And if I continue that to the floor. Still, still no support. Oh no, is this sandstorm coming? Well, not here. Um, that is very annoying. That is very, very annoying. Yeah, just arc things. No matter what I do. I guess I could try and do supports this way, but I don't think that would count. Nope. Do I just need to place random foundations here then? You know, just have like... Some random foundation support like this. I don't know, we'll see. It's so weird. Okay, let's remove some of this mess before we forget because the sandstorm moves slowly over the whole map and it arrived late to the party okay um this is this is an interesting challenge because nothing nothing seems to really add any support in any way I guess what we could do so this is where the train tracks are we could try and add and see if this will help if I have some support down there nope still not nothing nothing matters I don't know. I guess we'll have to figure this out in another way. I don't know what is not supported here because you would think it it has all the support it could need. And even if we add the support, it still is asking for something. Okay, just as a test. If we do it from these ones to each other, does that work? If, if it's going to be moving the train, I'm going to go insane. But that might might just be another arc thing. Okay. So obviously it's not going to be able to pass further than this. This. Is this actually lined up with each other? This might actually be lined up with each other. These two platforms. Which would make sense because I think we snapped them both from these tracks. So if I start the same kind of thing from here, you would assume I would be able to reach that. Yeah, I would. Um... Okay, yeah, we're going to have one little 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 gap i guess but where do we want that gap to make it look do we do it there oh it's more than that oh i guess it's not it's not just a foundation so just the 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 the, the tracks are just a weird shape i mean that works i guess it's the little overlap in the middle so that is allowed because i these line up i guess the problem lies that this one doesn't line up with that one hmm that is quite annoying because we can't do the same trick and i would kind of like to 
you know, be able to extend this the same the same way, but we're not going to be able to do that because these don't line up. There's like a weird weird gap between them. Yeah, see these it's just not quite the same level because tracks are weird and they never line up. <laughs> so the best way to do it. <laughs> oh no. No. This is a nightmare. Oh, that's already annoying. That's actually that's actually really annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find or think of a different way to line up these tracks. Because I think the, the problem is that, you know, we have the, the split right here. Two of these are basically just the same track because they end up right next to each other. But somehow, even though you would think every track is the same length, so you would end up with the same same length you actually do not i guess what i could do but i'm not gonna bore you by that i could extend these and then just start building the platform from here that's probably what i'm gonna have to end up doing you know go by this and build the whole platform just lining it up with this one um yeah that's actually uh, that's probably what i'm gonna have to do because that will just solve all the problems but i i won't be i won't start doing that right now because then it just means that we're gonna do the same thing i am gonna destroy this now because yeah i'm just we just got arced basically train tracks they are fun trains are fun the tracks they they they, they are uh problematic but when they are down and they work, they work and it's going to be great. We're going to have so much fun riding the tri train around, even though the train is kind of slow. But at least it looks cool. Okay, so I'll just have to, to fix that platform and then we'll be able to do it. So I guess for now, what we can do now, now we know it's going to work, is we can we can have in, we can already add in this little design you know we can end with that we'll end on a positive note we'll already have the little design for this going on there we go perfect exactly like this Yeah, the connector is uh, is the, the hardest one to figure out how to work. I managed to do it eventually. But it's definitely um, a, a whole whole experience to get that to work. Oh, wait a minute. This doesn't line up nicely. So let's do it the same way. Okay. There we go. So at least we'll have connection between all the different platforms or well right now they're just two but we don't have the third platform yet but we'll do the same thing we'll connect this oh wait i didn't place in the things yet okay there we go and we have all little platform going oh it's gonna rain rain is actually nice but not during a stream you might also just do this um yeah i think we're we actually don't have to do 
too much for this. I guess we don't build that because we'll have to connect it up to the other other platform eventually once once we get that to work. Oh yeah, I guess this is a little weird weird thing over there, but that's fine. We'll just pretend that's all even. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, ghost. Thank you. And I guess in this way, we already have a pretty nice way to connect the tracks. And I guess once we do the other platform lined up with this platform, we shouldn't have any more problems and it will all just work together and then at least we'll easily be able to access each different platform um, in a nice and normal way of course we'll make it all frontier themed gotta do it gotta do it we might add a little uh, roof over this though i think that could be nice if we can i shouldn't forget about the weird little Overlap. Our oh, defenses does the this railing does fix that little misalignment. You don't really can't really see it anymore. That is good. Yeah, I, I, the problem with uh, evolved, in my opinion, is just that the build system is so much worse um i don't know if you've seen it but when scorch was launching with april 1st i made a little video about like my first build on scorch which was like the april fool's joke because i just did a build in evolve so i went back to evolve to actually build there and oh my god the system is so bad compared to what we have right now um, especially now being so used to this new system, of course. I remembered that the old system was worse. But if you now go back to it, you realize how much worse the building actually was. Like how much harder they made everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy with this. So I can imagine trying to do one of those builds in Evolved is going to be... Yeah, it's going to be very difficult. Alright, well this is already quite nice i think what i want to do is maybe not that height maybe this would be nice to have like a little roof over this walkway i think um just need to figure out a good way to do that okay i need to keep <laughs> need to keep them so i'll probably do it like this This would be nice, but that would be kind of steep. And I think instead what I actually want to do is... This is not lining up. I can't handle it. But that also sticks out. Uh, I hate the the fact that if you want to build with rams, it's it just doesn't doesn't quite line up. Eh. Okay, I guess we can try to see what it looks like with with a proper little roof because uh, yeah, they just make it so difficult in this game. Just give us different slopes for this. I guess that would allow us to have this, which would be a lovely look as well.
I mean that that's that would be that would be kind of nice. Um, I guess to make it make more sense from the inside, we'll just add it like like this. Um, and probably want to do those as well, because then what I can do is add the little overhang. Okay, so that's about the middle. I mean, it's not too bad, the steeper roof. And I definitely think I pre prefer the, the, able, the way we're able to finish this. This is a really nice, nice shape going on there. So let's try to do the same thing over here. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Of course, this is going to be the middle. This is not actually the end because the end is going to be over on the other side. So this is just another part of the puzzle. There we go. Because I was going to do the same little ending that I have over there. But of course we don't need that because we're going to extend it the other way. Now we could add as a little bit of an extra support. I guess we could still do this here in the middle. Just so that we have the extra support for the roof. Right, because then yeah, when you see it, you see the, the extra support inside. Um, yeah, now the roof is kind of just floating along. I guess that's what we want to add. Yeah, the sloped wall skin, actually both of them. I, I already like this one a lot because it has also a little curve shaved in it, but the the glass one the little the little window inside this is this should just be what normal slope walls should look like you know we should always be able to have a window in there okay the only problem right here is if we place these pillars uh we can't actually connect them to the proper roof so what i think i'll end up doing is actually having these just go all the way along and that will be our connection. Okay, I need to start from this side now. That will be our connection to the actual roof. I think that is probably the best way. Because I definitely want to have the support pillars in. And we'll just change all these looks. There we go. Perfect. Because, yeah, having those little pillars in there definitely helps a lot. I think that does look quite nice. Like, it's always going to be a little, uh, little weird, of course, because you have a quite a high staircase over the tracks. But I think, especially once the, the train is parked below, I think it's, it is pretty nice. I'm from the Netherlands. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's probably all we can do for these. Yes, I am Dutch. Yeah, I think this is uh, quite nice. Probably the best way we can do to easily transfer from platform to platform instead of... I wouldn't know what else to do. And I guess we could go one lower, but I feel like having that little bit of extra clearance uh, makes a lot of sense. Okay, I kind of want to back up my train to its normal spot, so we're gonna remove this. Can I pick it up? Yes, I can. 
pick up the dino, I guess. Um, because I want to park this one back in its normal spot, which is kind of like in between those tracks, because then it's not interfering, just in case that I end up building my actual survival train and I want to go around the track. But I guess now at least we can we can test what it would look like. Oh, nope, we want to go into the middle. Hello there. Hello there. Thanks for subscribing. Yeah, there we go. So this would look uh, what it would look like if you're pulling into the station and uh, the, the little kangaroo is <laughs> waiting for us. There we go. Um, oh, we fell off the train, but that's fine. So yeah, now we can see what it would actually look like once we build over it. I guess it is a little bit high, but I feel like that's better. Just in case I do end up building a train with like the industrial forge or something like one of the bigger structures on top of there. I think it would be nice to have that little bit of extra clearance. Um, you know what I would could really use? I know Klingers has that. It's like a sloped wall, but it's more of like an arch. Because adding that in as a support right here could be really nice, I think. And I don't know if these are going to do the same trick, because I don't think I don't think they would work, because they're too thick. And even these ones, they do have the nice little curve, but I don't think that it's going to look as good because yeah, the, the curve is on the wrong side, basically. It does look a little bit better because of the almost gap that is in between there. It looks more like a support. So maybe we will give this a try. See what it looks like. Sometimes that's the only thing you can do. Just give it a go. See... Oh, that's not placed in the right spot. Uh, see what it looks like. See if you like it or not. Yeah, I think the, the, the Klinger ones, the little archways they have would be perfect here. This is all right. But I think then I would have to make this part into more of a proper structure. Because right now it's... I think these are too thick for the little small beams. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, fun fact. I... I So I made this short for YouTube. Just to post here because YouTube was going very well. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I have the, the TikTok account for this gaming thing as well. Let's just post them there. But I kind of forgot about it. And then I logged into TikTok again like this week after I scheduled a bunch of them in advance and I had like five or six hundred extra followers. I was like, oh, wait, maybe this TikTok thing is finally, finally doing something. But yeah, good to hear you found your way over. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, I think this is definitely going to work, especially once we have the other platform, which is going to be here with the main train station. That might be one of the next let let's build streams that i'm gonna do because i try to do those two or three times a week at least um for as long as i can keep it up of course with all the other things going on in life but yeah i think next time we'll probably work on the next let's build stream that is we'll probably work on the uh no the reason why the roof isn't the same is because basically this is only half of it the other half is there's going to be another platform here, so this, what we have right now, we're going to flip and then it's going to be the exact same. Um, so eventually it will be, it will be, but this is just half of the build basically. But yeah, I think the next one is going to be us just working further on this. I'll try to at least have the platform for the station in, I think, and then we can actually do the main train station build somewhere over here maybe even connect it up to the town depending on how long that takes us and maybe add in a few other buildings and details along the way but this is definitely starting to come together we already made a start for the train station which i definitely did not necessarily expect for today let's also take a quick little look again at all western streets 
Um, yeah, uh, basically, this is actually a, a different build for me as well. Because normally I do like a big build or I rebuild a ruin which has a very clear layout, even if it's multiple ruins. But this time I'm not only building like a cool saloon, but trying to think about like the whole town in my head of like, okay, this is going to be there. This is going to be there. But I think we're definitely getting somewhere. So we have the saloon over here. Um, tutorial for the saloon is already up, actually. So if you want to build it yourself, definitely really fun. I am still need to play poker here as well. Um, but probably poker is going to be more fun on the community server because we can have like a full table. Uh, we have a bank. We have the general store. Definitely need to do some painting because I've only painted some of these. We've got the hotel, just some normal houses. We got the gun shop because, of course it's the wild west we need a we need to have a gun shop i'm gonna hopefully be able to do some cool things with the interior even without mods i think i've got some custom cosmetic things that wildcard made themselves which should help with hanging up guns we'll see what we can do now we got the undertaker here this is going to be the easiest one to decorate with like the coffins and the, the tombstones stuff like that and then we got another little house right over there and ending it off like with a Small little stables, etc. But we've got so many plans to add to this build. We definitely need to start adding more details that we did on this side. All the way across all of these builds. And then maybe decorate a few of them as well. Because I'm not going to do every one of them. But definitely the Undertaker is, is going to be a fun one. Because of the, the coffins and stuff that we have. But um, yeah, I do like this little bit of color just on the front. I think that it feels it feels like that would be the way they would do it, you know? They would paint the front to make the building look more attractive or something, the shop more attractive. So I'm probably going to play around with that. I've decided on these three colors. Sorry, I don't really know what they are exactly right now. I'll probably make sure that I have those available next time I stream so I can tell you. Or when I do the uh, eventual tour of what I have so far, I'll make sure that I know the exact colors that I've used. But these definitely work very well because they're not too bright. They feel they feel like they they would be they this would, would be what the the colors be what they would actually use instead of some brighter variations because I you know, use normal red but that was way too bright so this is like a different variation. This is also like a little bit more of a faded blue. But to be honest, I was just already very happy that you were able to paint them at all. Because I, I would have easily believed that that wouldn't be possible because they're technically just skins. Yeah, the uh, billboards can also be painted, I believe. So I need to figure out like a good color scheme for that as well. To maybe... Um, I want to have the pillars maybe blend in a little bit more with the normal pillars. So I need to figure out a pillow uh, color for that. And then maybe make this a little bit more stand out as well, you know. Have the background be a little bit darker so that you can really read the text quite easily but the street itself is definitely coming together and definitely starting to look really cool also like if you look from the right angle here with the train and the the little walkway that we built it already starts to look really cool from certain angles it really looks like a cool town so yeah definitely still some exciting stuff to come from here but not only here because there's also a bunch of other builds that i'm working on of course we've got the ruin rebuild i'm working on a pyramid i'm not gonna spoil that design just yet um i have shared that behind the scenes with my members but uh, it will be out soon i'm trying to finish up that pyramid just to have a different kind of build because honestly uh, the first thing I thought of when when thinking about things for Scorch was obviously like, oh yeah, I should build a pyramid. But that was before all this cool frontier stuff came in with all those cool skins and all the cool decoration options, which definitely makes building a lot easier because you've got all the little extra things like the signs and the billboards, the lanterns. I mean, these streetlights are just so much better than the older lamps that we used to have. Like, these are so cool. And the fact that we also get, like, the different variations for these. Like, ugh, it's insane. It's, it's so cool. Anyway, guys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today. We've done a bunch of building. This was a fun stream. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm, I'm a very tiny man here in this street. But um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
And um, yeah, turn on notifications if you don't want to miss out on any streams. You can also join my Discord because you can also get notified over there. As well as join the free community server that we've got going on as well. We run a bunch of mods. We've got both the island and Scorched Earth running. So it's actually a cluster. So if you want to join a lovely little community, uh, feel free to join the Discord. And uh, I'll see you over there. And we'll, we're also working on a town right there. But um, I'm obviously not building everything there. Because that would mean I have to buy uh, build two towns. And that would uh yeah i would need to quit my job for that and uh we're not that far yet but um thank you all for joining me and i hope to see you in the next stream goodbye